The water issues have always have always been an issue. It's always been an issue here. Sonia Swinneber owns the Stonington Veterinary Hospital near the Wicatawa Cove. She is one of many along Stonington Road who have been fighting for better water quality. Her well behind her business contains salt water from the ocean. The water's potable, but it tastes terrible. So <laughs> to make matters worse, she learned fecal coliform bacteria has seeped into the cove, putting her even more on edge. The bacteria is typically found in the feces of warm blooded animals. I have to have water here, um, not just for my staff, but to make to, to run our business. I have to have a good water supply. Last year, the Wicked Quack Cove received a D minus grade from the Save the Sound quality report card. And since then, residents and business owners who work or live near this cove have stepped up in addressing the poor water quality. The Wicatawa Cove Clean Water Coalition have been meeting frequently to find solutions after a $47,000 grant was awarded to the Eastern Connecticut Coalition District. This grant will help inform the public while looking for solutions. And educating people on, you know, pet waste and, and not having their pets go and not clean up after them and um, not washing their car in the driveway, washing it on the grass instead. Heather Pilardi with the ECCD says the bacteria comes from the Canada geese nesting and dropping feces onto the grass. So when it rains, it flushes the feces into the cove water. Meanwhile, these signs have been posted on telephone poles warning everyone. You can't shellfish there. Um, it's it's really in my opinion, not safe to let your animals bathe in it. ECCD have implemented what is called a vegetative buffer to try to prevent the geese from doing unsolicited business. In Stonington, Carmen Chow, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.